Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The fancy YouTube algorithms will rank us higher and enable us to keep making great content for you. Thank you for your time, now let's get into the video. Okay coders, last week I created a video completing a fairly brief look at the Visual Studio for Mac application. Now this week I just wanted to go back and add a few thoughts that I have had after spending a week with the application. Now, the first thing that I want to say is that I really like this editor. It works really well with Unity with a couple of exceptions, and Unity has actually created an update that is specific to this editor in version 5.6.1 for Unity. The biggest point of annoyance that I had when working with this editor would occur when I would double click to open a file from Unity without first opening the solution file within Visual Studio. So as you can see here, I don't have any files open. But if I go to Unity and just double click on a script here, it will open up that script specifically. And now when I try to type out something like a uh, game object, the IntelliSense is not working. And so that has been my biggest um, pain point so far with this application, is that when you double click from Unity, it doesn't actually open up the file as like a Unity editable file. But that is actually the fix that Unity has made in their latest version. So now when you double click a file from Unity, if you're using Visual Studio for Mac, then the solution file will be updated, will be opened rather than the specific file that we clicked on. So I clicked on the ball script here, which opened up the ball script. But in the newer version of Unity, we would actually see our solution file up. up opened up here which allows the IntelliSense to work which is really awesome and huge thumbs up to Unity for that one. Another annoyance that I have noticed is that sometimes the application opens up fairly slowly. Now this is not overly outrageous I mean it's not taking like minutes or you know like half an hour to open but sometimes I have found myself just waiting for the application to open which is frustrating. The application does open up more quickly than, say, an application like Photoshop on the Mac, but it is still slow enough to take notice. Another annoyance that a Renaissance Coders community member actually pointed out is that while it is easy to rapidly change your current theme, so if I go up to uh, the top menu and Preferences, it's really easy to change our interface theme and our code themes. You know, we can just very easily choose from our presets but it is not really easy to customize the chosen theme. In fact, I have not really found an overly easy method for changing or customizing the theme that I have chosen. That is not to say that a method for customizing code themes does not exist, but there isn't a graphical interface that we can use to easily update our coding themes. I did find several websites after doing some quick searching that could be helpful, but I have not been able to take a deep dive into the, these websites in order to try creating my own theme. Now the final annoyance that I have found actually deals with the IntelliSense as well. So if I close down my ball script here and I open up my solution file, and let's just go to a different, let's open up a different script here. Let's just go to our orbit script. Now the IntelliSense in this application does work great for a lot of things, but I have found a few functions that are a little bit of a pain when you're autofilling with IntelliSense. And the biggest offender that I have actually found is the git component function from Unity. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'm just gonna say, let's say so like this dot game object dot git component. And if I tab right now, you'll see that it leaves out off the um, angled brackets for specifying a type and we need those for unity so if I wanted to get a rigid body I'd have to type in rigid body but it doesn't automatically include these so you know again this is not a huge problem it's just something I've noticed that I'm kinda like man I really wish that it would open up the angle brackets and the parentheses and allow us to quickly fill out the angled brackets and I've really only run into this this issue when like recording videos or if I'm trying to write a script fairly quickly then I'll run into this issue but you know again not a huge problem but it is a little annoying when you're working inside of a script all in all I think that this is a great editor to use alongside unity on the Mac and of course this application can be used for way more than just editing script files for for unity but Game development is the focus of this channel, so that's what I've been using this application for primarily. I would definitely say that this editor passes the sniff test and could definitely aid developers in scripting with Unity. 
Now, that is going to do it for this review. Again, just a really quick video going back, going over a couple of my thoughts over the past week. I did want to ask to see if you coders have an application, editor, or tool that you would like us to review for you. If so, let us know in the comments below, and we will do our best to cover the requests in a timely manner. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.